Direct News TV. June 10, 2024. Russia-Ukraine War, List of Key Events, Day 837. Here is the situation on Tuesday, June 11, 2024. Fighting. At least six people were injured after Russia fired three guided bombs on Ukraine's northeastern city of Kharkiv. Mayor Ihor Tarakov said the attack on the country's second biggest city damaged at least two houses and several cars, and also started a fire. Four people, including a cameraman with Rossiya 24 television, were injured when a mine exploded in Chebekino in Russia's Belgorod region close to the border with Ukraine. Three other people were hurt in Ukrainian shelling, according to regional governor Vyacheslav Gladkov. Russia's Ministry of Defense said its forces captured the village of Staromorsk on the southern flank of Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. Ukraine's military made no such acknowledgement in a report issued late on Monday. It said Russian forces had tried to move forward near Staromorsk and a nearby village, Vodayan, but were unsuccessful. The defense forces control the situation. Ukraine's military said it damaged three Russian surface-to-air defense systems in missile attacks on Ukraine's Moscow-occupied Crimea Peninsula. The attacks struck an S-400 system in Jankoy and two less advanced S-300 systems near Yepatoria and Kurnomorsk, resulting in significant losses for Russian air defenses, Ukraine's general staff said. There was no official comment from Russia. Explosions in the area were reported on social media channels. The Ukrainian military appointed Vadim Sukarevskyi as commander of drone forces, highlighting the importance of drone warfare in the conflict. Politics and Diplomacy Switzerland said it had registered an increase in cyber attacks and disinformation in the run-up to this weekend's peace summit on Ukraine. Ninety states and organizations have registered to take part in the talks near the central city of Lucerne from June 15 to 16. Russia has not been invited. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky arrived in Germany for a conference on Ukraine's post-war reconstruction and recovery and is expected to also hold talks with Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Mustafa Nayyem, the head of Ukraine's state agency for restoration and infrastructure development, resigned citing budget cuts and bureaucratic delays. Russia's Vedomosti newspaper said President Vladimir Putin would visit North Korea and Vietnam in the coming weeks, with Russian ambassador to North Korea Alexander Matskara telling the paper that Putin's visit to Pyongyang was being actively prepared. Relations between Moscow and Pyongyang have deepened in recent months with leader Kim Jong-un meeting Putin in eastern Russia last September. United Nations monitors say Russia has used North Korean weapons in Ukraine. A court in the Russian city of Ekaterinburg sentenced a man to three years in a penal colony for mocking an 11-year-old boy wearing a hat with the pro-military Z symbol. Alexander Nyostroyev was charged with hooliganism after he was caught on security cameras shouting, stick that hat up your arse, you idiot, at the boy as he walked past. The Z letter which was painted on Russian tanks sent into Ukraine in February 2022, has become a high-profile symbol of support for Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Russia's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said it rescinded the accreditation of Maria Nipswitting, a correspondent for Austria's public broadcaster ORF, and told her to leave the country in response to Austria's expulsion of a journalist for Russian state news agency TASS. Weapons Surai I. Holubtsov, the head of aviation at the Air Force Command of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, told the U.S. government-funded Radio Free Europe slash Radio Liberty that Ukraine has plans to station some of the F-16s it is being given by European allies at bases overseas due to security concerns. My name is Kingsley. Please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.